Okay, this sermon's entitled, Faith Alone in the Work of Christ Alone. Now, I'm preaching this sermon because I got online and I, I typed this in, The Simple Plan of Salvation, and I found very few, very few websites could actually get, articulate the plan of salvation. I was, I, the one, one website came, came close, um, it got uh, most things right, but I, let me just go over ahead and, let me just go over my notes. And I just felt like it was really kind of unnerving, unnerving and kind of perturbing to not be, to not see the plan of salvation out there. It's like, it's, it's all these, it's all this confusion. Okay, the plan of salvation is simple. Let me just go ahead and read my notes. Faith alone in the work of Christ alone. Being saved and having a home, a home promised in heaven, an eternal home promised in heaven, is extremely simple. You must admit you are a sinner and that you cannot save yourself. Romans 3, 23, For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. You must trust in Jesus Christ, who died on the cross to pay for your sins. He was buried and rose again so that you can freely have eternal life as a gift from God. We are saved from hell by grace through faith alone in the finished work of Christ alone. Check out a few verses I've included on this subject. 1 Corinthians 15, 3 and 4. For I delivered unto you, first of all, that which I also received, how that Christ died for our sins, according to the scriptures, and that he was buried, and that he rose again the third day, according to the scriptures. Now John 3:16, For God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Acts 16, 30 and 31. The question's laid out and it's answered real succinctly. And, and the question is, and brought them out and said, Sirs, what must I do to be saved? And they said, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved and thy house. Okay, believe means to trust. You're putting your, your, your trust, your tr full trust on Christ and what he did for you. Okay, Jesus promises to all who simply believe in him eternal life that can never be lost. Once you're saved, you're always saved. You cannot lose your salvation. John 6:47 makes it very clear. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me hath everlasting life. Now, my question is, have you trusted Jesus Christ alone to save you from eternal punishment in hell and for the free gift of eternal life in heaven forever? That's either yes or no. Okay, that's it. That's all I have. Faith alone in Christ, in the work of Christ alone. See, God get God has to get all the glory. We we can't boast and brag about anything, you know, that we do or don't do. You know, salvation is a free gift. It's received by believing in Jesus for it. It's that simple. And it's the moment you believe on Christ, you're saved forever. See, John three thirty six, and I'll close with this verse. Listen to this verse carefully. He that believeth on the Son hath everlasting life. You see that? It's a present tense. You have everlasting life. He that believeth on the Son hath everlasting life, but he that believeth not the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abideth on him. That's all I have. Dear God, thank you for allowing me to preach this sermon. It's real sad and tragic that you go online and you dig around for the simple plan of salvation and you find nothing. You find a lot of failed attempts or botched attempts to, 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 uh, to give the gospel, and it's, 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 never, it's never clear. Okay, it's really sad. That's why I preach this sermon to let people know how, how simple and how clear it is. So I'd like to go over it one last time here. Keep us safe. Bless us abundantly. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. In case a person still did not get this, let me just go over it one last time. We are sinners. God loves us. God sent his son, Jesus Christ, who was perfect, to die on the cross for our sins. He was buried and rose again. And he offers eternal life as a free gift to all those who have faith alone in Christ alone. It's free. That's all I have. Thank you. <clears throat>